Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and More. Today's topic is theories of dental caries. We are very familiar with the concept of dental caries. That is how the dental caries starts when there is presence of sucrose and bacteria in oral cavity. There will be production of lactic acid which will result in demineralization and ultimately the cavitation which is known as dental caries. This session is about uh, the theories of dental caries, what were the theories, the old theories and the new theories and how it was explaining about this concept. So let's see the details of theories of dental caries. Dental caries uh, the disease of uh, civilization. So there were many theories uh, which we are trying to explain the concept behind this. So we can classify all the theories as the old theories and new theories. Uh, the most accepted one is the acidogenic theory by Miller. So anyway all theories we have exogenous and endogenous theory. Exogenous are things which is coming from outside. That is uh, worm theory, chemical theory and parasitic or septic theory. Endogenous uh, particles which is present within the body. Humoral theory and vital theory. And the new theories are acidogenic, proteolytic theory and proteolysis, chelation theory. So we will start with old theory that is the legend of worm. So it was uh, during the 5000 BC period. It was believed that. Uh, the dental caries was caused by worms okay uh, these worm and they drank blood of teeth and uh, they fed on roots of jaws so that was a worm theory there was no scientific proof it was uh, completely um, unscientific and the second theory is the chemical theory it was put forward in 1890 by Palm Lee. Palm Lee. So it was uh, highlighting the current concept that is a chemical but he was not able to explain in detail. He said that there was a unidentified chemical agent which is responsible for caries. So it, he stated that caries began on enamel surface where food uh, become uh, putrefied then uh, it acquires sufficient dissolving power to produce disease chemically still he could not explain the actual concept the next theory was parasitic or septic theory in 1843 this was given by palm Lee. this is given by Erdl in 1843 this was in 1819 okay so parasitic theory uh, he explained that there is a presence of filamentous parasite in plague he termed it as denticole denticole and this denticole is responsible for dental caries okay so that was a parasitic theory now let's move on to the endogenous theory. The first one is humoral theory. So this theory explains about the four humors of body. So there are four humors of body which are blood, flame, black bile and yellow bile. These are the four humors of the body. Okay. So any change in so black bile and yellow bile so any change in relative proportion of these elements would result in disease that means dental caries that is a humoral theory whereas the second one vital theory so it came in 18th century so this vital theory explains the tooth decay originated uh, like bone gangrene okay so how the bone gangrene caused in the similar way the dental caries also happening. 
that is a from within the tooth itself okay so from within the tooth itself just like a bone gangrene dental caries happens that is a vital theory so we learned about the all theories exogenous and endogenous the exogenous were legend of worm chemical theory parasitic or septic theory then the humoral theory and vital theory now let's move on to the new theories of dental caries and the first one was the acidogenic or chemical parasitic theory so this is also known as chemical parasitic theory which is the most commonly accepted theory put forward by w d miller in 1890 okay so he was able to explain the concept that is a sucrose and bacteria producing lactic acid which causes demineralization and cavitation leads to the dental caries so he explained it in a two stage that is it is a chemical parasitic process the first one there will be decalcification of enamel and which results in total destruction and followed by dissolution of the softened residue okay so there will be involvement of the chemical action and parasitic action parasitic action is nothing but bacteria chemical is the formation of lactic acid so he was uh, highlighting uh, the roles of all the four factors uh, like the role of uh, carbohydrate the role of microorganism and the role of acid and the role of uh, dental plaque uh, but at that time this tetrad concept was not there this is a, actually uh, tetrad given by newbrun newbrun's tetrad theory because the tetrad is highlighting the uh, importance of time but it was uh, came into action very lately but till that time it was just the three factors that is host factor tooth the agent factor bacteria and the diet that is the sugar so these three factors combined to form caries so similarly miller was also highlighting the role of carbohydrate microorganisms acids and dental plaque because all these bacteria are present on the dental plaque so only if the presence of dental plaque will result in dental caries if we uh, properly clean our teeth there is no dental plaque there is no dental uh, bacteria which can cause dental caries that is streptococcus mutans there has to be presence of bacteria and also sucrose without bacteria there will not be caries so it is a multifactorial uh, disease all has to be there so the second one is uh, uh, the role of carbohydrate carbohydrates such as uh, the mm, sucrose mainly sucrose is also known as arch criminal the highly acid producing sugar arch criminal sucrose so the role of sucrose uh, also also highlighted by miller and uh next we have the theory that is uh, proteolytic theory proteolytic theory uh, uh means the organic components that is a protein part of tooth uh, will be uh, destroyed as a initial process then uh, the actual demineralization uh, or the inorganic substance dissolution happens so proteolytic uh, theory is concentrating the organic portion but the actual concept is the inorganic or chemical portion because the enamel has 96% of calcified structure that is the inorganic content right so this is concentrating on organic then after that there will be demineralization of inorganic compound so he proposed that enamel lamellae or road sheath that is a proteins may be lysed uh, which means proteolysis as first event in further progression of bacterial invasion and demineralization so that was a concept of uh, proteolytic theory and the last one proteolysis chelation theory so there will be a process of chelation chelation is nothing but removal of calcium by forming soluble chelates so oral bacteria attack organic component of enamel which is known as proteolysis then breakdown products have chelating ability and which dissolves the tooth mineral 
so proteolytic chelation theory is nothing but the bacteria attack on the protein component then this component will cause chelation by dissolving the tooth mineral and resulting in dental caries so that's all about uh, theories of dental caries we have learned in detail about the old theories and the newer theories we have almost three five eight theories exogenous endogenous theory and newer theory can study in this way the legend of worm chemical parasitic humoral vital theory acidogenic proteolytic theory proteolysis chelation theory so hope you understood the concept of theories of dental caries i'll come up with a new topic in dentistry and more thank you and lastly guys we have started channel membership in dentistry and more channel so you can explore a various uh, exclusive perks for the channel members so you can explore various options by clicking on the join button adjacent to subscribe button so we have options of uh, personal whatsapp uh, help so you can ask any doubts uh, you will get answered through whatsapp uh, text messages or uh, voice messages and we have one more option that is uh, the pdf notes will be available but as of now we have only the public health dentistry topic the more topics will be uploaded soon and the last option is one to one interaction session you will get the personal interaction or personal classes on uh, various subjects from the faculties of respective branches so explore the join button and let us know if you want any further help from us thank you